Garden, and it's near Camp John Hay. Enter through the exit only. Here we are. We're here at Secret Garden. And earlier today, <clears throat> I went to, uh, for lunch, I went to Foggy Mountain restaurant. Uh, and I was under the impression that it was, you needed to make a booking for dinner, uh, but there weren't, bookings weren't necessary for lunch because it wasn't stipulated that you needed to make a booking for lunch. But apparently you do. Uh, so when we got there, they said, no, you can't come in. So, we're here at Secret Garden, which is near Camp John Hay, and maybe if Camp John Hay is not that far away, we'll have something to eat here, and then have a wander down there. Well, I've just ordered pesto with seafood in olive oil, uh, and I thought this place was in Camp John Hay, <laughs> because that's how it's advertised. It says Secret Garden, Camp John Hay. But that must be the area. Um, and I said, well, how far is Camp John Hay from here? And they said, oh, 10 minutes. And I said, well, 10 minutes walking. And they said, oh, no, 10 minutes in the car. <laughs> so I looked, just looked on the Google Maps and it's four kilometers. And it's three kilometers. So I'll get a grab taxi after this and we'll go to Camp John Hay and do it all properly, but I'll just have some lunch. Okay, so my... Um, pasta's turned up it's a pesto seafood pesto with olive oil and a little bit of garlic bread which is pretty good and it looks good and it smells pretty good and it's nice and warm and it's very cold here Not bad. And the garlic bread's nice. It's pretty good. <clears throat> it's a pesto with olive oil, and pesto is made with olive oil anyway, so it's kind of like a sloppy pesto. <laughs> but it's pretty good. That's the wash up. Not bad at all. 357 and I think that's with I think it says 5% service 5% well that was secret garden uh, it's it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and I was trying to get a grab taxi and I couldn't get one and then I said to the waitress is there any chance of getting a white taxi around here and she said yeah walk down to the end of the street to the hotel because grab taxis won't come here I, I have no idea why but anyway But I got a grab taxi here, but apparently they won't pick up from here. I don't know why. Well, this is it. This is Camp John Hay. So we're in, but I don't exactly know where we are. There's this little sort of collection of shops and restaurants and a 7-Eleven and a Starbucks down here. But I'm not sure where the manor is or where anything else is. I just spoke to someone who said that it's up here about a five minute walk. That's the manor. So we'll see. What's a day in Baguio without a hill? Just 
still walking. Nice and quiet here. When there are no cars. It's quite beautiful. Well, this is the manor. It's pretty big. This is a garden at the back that I've heard about and to be honest I'm quite amazed they allowed me to video. It was very nice of them. I'm assuming it's built in the style of a Swiss chalet. Uh, it looks very homey. Looks like the sort of place that you could you could quite happily live here. <laughs> You've got these little hemispheres that you can dine in, I gather. Oh, as soon as you walk in here, it's probably 20 degrees warmer. It's actually quite hot. And out there, it's cool, borderline cold. Oh, it's very warm in there. That's an extraordinary view. I've never been to Switzerland, <laughs> but uh, I've never seen a mountain view like this before. It's beautiful, it's just extraordinary. It's so quiet. I don't know how many rooms there are here, but there must be quite a few. Good afternoon. Sir. Good afternoon. <laughs> so this, this is the forest lodge. This is the forest lodge and I was just talking to the security guard and he asked me if I was staying here and I said no and he said oh, I'll just go inside and uh, take the lift up to the upper ground floor and that's where reception is and I believe there's a coffee shop near reception and so I don't know we'll see what we find so I'm in a lift 
and we're heading to upper ground. Hi. Okay. Chef Jean Gonzalez said to me, <clears throat> if you get to the Forest Lodge, see if you can find a painting I did called The History of Food <laughs> and tell me if it's still there. Well, this is it. Not only a talented chef, but a talented artist. Good work. Oh, that's fantastic. Found the portrait. Mission accomplished. So maybe I'll have a coffee. Oh, this place is just lovely. There's something about timber, raw timber. It's very relaxing. I could live here too. <laughs> <laughs> 